welcome to Haywire Homestead. It is drizzling. It's been drizzling for several days. Um, kind of a blessing because we need our hay to grow and we need the garden to grow, which we finally got it all planted, thankfully. I'll take you guys over there and take a look at that. I haven't posted much lately because we've just been so busy trying to get the garden in. I didn't have time to stop and pick up a camera and take pictures and video. I just wanted to get it done. So I'll take you on over and let you take a look at the garden here. Uh, weeds are starting to pop up a little bit, but it's too wet really to get in and do anything. So here is the garden. We put up some cattle panels for the tomatoes. We actually have to put a couple more in. Um, we've got green beans. Let's see, lima, lima beans here. Green beans and um, Swiss chard. Tomatoes and peppers are all together. Also put carrots in with the tomatoes. We're trying some companion gardening here. On down, we're having more peppers, eggplant, cabbage, onions, regular potatoes, fingerling potatoes, and at the end, I have sweet potatoes. If you look at the patch right over here, we have corn and spaghetti squash at the very end. <laughs> And then we also put in my asparagus up toward the top. And then after the asparagus, I can honestly say, oh, cucumbers, that's what we did. We did a trellis of cucumbers over there. Compost pile is still working, so that will be planted next year. Um, nothing's really come up yet. It's, oh no, actually, wait a minute. We might, oh, we did. So we are starting to get some sprouts. There we go, right there starting to come up there's a few of them here's another one here so looks like my green beans are starting to come up yay super excited oh actually look over here got a lima bean there it is right there kind of hard to look through the camera and look at what I'm doing at the same time so oh there's a few more up this way so it looks like we are starting to get some sprouts hopefully it dries out a little bit here in the next few days and i can get to um hilling my potatoes because they definitely need it um we've got the incubator going again we sold 21 chicks if you looked at our last video and then i have the incubator full again and I'm gonna do some candling because we're, I think, on day three. Oh, we had fun in here. So my little game hen, she's been kind of busy. It doesn't look like she laid an egg today, but it's cloudy and she only lays about every other day. So today must be the day that she's not gonna lay for me. But I put nine of her eggs in there. I need to candle those. And then um, I've got more light grandma eggs in there. So I've got to get some pictures taken so that way I can post an ad. Hopefully I can get some customers lined up before those babies hatch. So I need to get some pictures of the grown-ups so people can see who the parents are. Over there, my lovelies. I don't know if you can see. Okay, here we go. So this chicken, I don't know if you can see her. It's kind of dark in here. It's a little barred rock. And she right now is in chicken jail because she is suspected of the an egg eater. My son was pretty sure that he caught her trying to eat an egg, so we separated her out from the flock. And, well, she's got an egg in there, and she hasn't eaten her own eggs. I'm going to leave her egg in there and get her some food and water because we're not going to kill her. Now, we're going to wait and see if I don't have any issue with any busted eggs in the coop. We have been having some, and we've been thinking we might have an egg eater. So, when my son saw her pecking at an egg, he thought it was her. So she is being separated right now, is it in chicken jail, to, until she can clear her name. While we're doing some updates, I posted pictures of her, but I didn't do a video on her. This is Athena. Athena is our new doe. Um, she's a little bit over a year old and is possibly bred to a dappled boar buck. Um, and we just put her out with everybody where she came from she had mites so we had to wait and do a little bit of quarantine she was treated for them and now we just have to wait for her hair to grow back she has a little bit a few bare spots on the backs of her legs and around her eyes but 
she's now getting settled in and getting adjusted to grain and her life as she's adjust, um, with everybody else. She was getting bullied just the first few days, but that's just pecking order. But now she's actually decided she'll eat the grain that we use because it's a little bit different than what they had. And um, she's grazing and eating hay and seems to be making friends with a couple of the goats. Um, the two weathers, Samson, which is standing there with her now, and our little weather, who's over in the creek feeder eating. Oh, and apparently he said she's not sharing today. So she's doing a lot better. Um, but she's such a pretty girl. She hasn't been handled much in her life, just for necessities um, when she got her uh, vaccines and then getting her feet trimmed. So she's a little bit cautious about humans. Um, but she's starting to slowly start to warm up. Before, there's no way I could have gotten this close to her when I first brought her home. Um, thankfully, she was in a stall, so I was able to handle her and rub on her and love on her, but she definitely did not enjoy it when I did that. Uh, so she's getting there. She's a very pretty girl, so we're hoping. Um, probably going to go ahead and give my vet a call and get some pricing on doing a pregnancy check to see if we can confirm whether or not she is. Uh, got babies in there. But she seems to be doing really well. That's the little weather that seems to be kind of been her buddy. It's Scooter right there. Hi, Fina. And she really is a pretty girl. I actually did a partial trade on her. Um, the baby chicks that I sold were sold to her owner. So he took the chicks in on trade, partial trade for this doe. Okay, so we're candling my game hen eggs and we've got one definitely a positive and oh this one's even better to show up look at that and this is just we just switched over to day four this evening and you can already see so I am three for three that are fertile so out of 36 eggs on day four, there is 32, I'm 100% positive, are fertile and are developing. There's um, four of them that are questionable. There's two that are dark, a little bit, um, just not really able to tell since it is kind of early. And I don't like to candle too much. I candle one time in the beginning, around three to four days, and then I'll candle again um, on about day 10 or 12 just to double check and then I take out any eggs that I'm 100% positive have expired. And then I wait and see what hatches. I don't like to mess with them too much, just my preference. But those are the updates for um, life out here at Haywire Homestead. Thanks for joining us. If you like what we're doing here, please hit that like um, and subscribe buttons. Make sure you ring the bell for notifications and we'll talk to y'all soon.